Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now I noticed that these days, phone manufacturers are just trying harder and harder to actually create something that is a little bit more unique. These days, people are not just looking for, you know, like the best specifications, flagship stuff and all that. They want something that look a little bit more different. And this brings me to my topic of today, which is all about foldables. Now in the world of foldables, there are two kinds one that opens up to be a mini tablet and another that flips close to become a smaller form factor. We're going to be looking at the flip phones because personally, I find that it makes much more sense. It's easier to use, still fits in your hand, and most importantly, doesn't need to rely on too much app optimization to work well. Let's talk about two great flip phones in the market, the Samsung Z Flip 3 and the Huawei P50 Pocket, and at the same time, find out which might be the better one for you should you decide to buy one. Let's begin. Alright, so first up, let's take a look at these designs. Design is very important for a smartphone because it allows it to stand out from the crowd. So let's see what's really unique about these designs right here. So in the case of the Samsung Z Flip 3, it's going for a more minimalist approach. On its back, it has a dual tone panel made of glass, and on the sides, it has a matte silver finish that is very smooth to the touch. Everything looks minimal, but at the same time, feels very solid to hold. Now, the Huawei P50 Pocket is going for a completely different approach. On its back, not only does it have the two large circular cutouts, which whether you like it or not does make it stand out, but also its back panel has this design that looks like it has a hundred diamonds on it. And if you look closely, these tiny diamonds actually form a texture that means you can feel the tiny cutouts on the back. It looks super premium and just like a luxury product. Overall, design-wise, I'd say both phones look great and are unique in their own way, but ultimately, it is really subject to one's personal preference. Alright, so since we're on the topic of design, let's check out the folding mechanisms of both the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 as well as the Huawei P50 Pocket. I noticed that while the Huawei P50 Pocket is able to fold completely flat, the Z Flip 3 actually has a pretty large gap in between and that is something quite annoying because dust do get trapped in between quite often. I definitely have to give points to the Huawei P50 Pocket here for being able to fold so seamlessly. Alright, so next up, we're going to be checking out the displays on both the Samsung as well as on the Huawei. Now, display is actually very, very important to me because it's the one main thing that you'll be looking at most of the entire time. Yes, both devices can fold into half to make it sm smaller and more compact, but let's find out what is actually different between the displays that we have here. Now, the cool thing here is obviously, both displays are able to fold into half to create that smaller form factor, but when it comes to actual display quality, this is where it's quite different. Now, the Samsung Z Flip 3 is going for a slim and tall approach with an aspect ratio of 22 by 9. Numbers-wise, it has a 6.7-inch 1080p Super AMOLED display that refreshes at 120Hz. Meanwhile, the Huawei P50 Pocket is going for a more conventional aspect ratio of 21 by 9. Now, this is the aspect ratio of movies you watch in the cinema. Numbers-wise, it has a slightly larger 6.9-inch OLED display, a slightly higher pixel density as well, and a refresh rate of 120Hz. It's worth mentioning that I did notice the crease on the P50 Pocket to be less visible than on the Z Flip 3. Now, although both displays look great, when I put them side by side, there are actually two reasons why I would prefer the display of the Huawei over the Samsung. First, the aspect ratio that I mentioned means the Samsung feels tall and thin, which at times might look a little awkward. The Huawei P50 Pocket on the other hand doesn't give you that awkward feel and the fact that it's slightly wider means you get to see more content on the display as well. Now second, I noticed that the viewing angles is much better on the Huawei P50 Pocket. Whenever I look at both devices from different angles, the Huawei actually held its colors and contrast levels much better than the Samsung Z Flip 3. Now let's move on to the external displays of both the Samsung as well as the Huawei. Both support basic functions like reading your notifications, checking the weather, music controls, but the size and shapes of both displays are very different. Now on the Samsung, you can see that the Z Flip 3 uses a display that is wider and in the form of a rectangle. The Huawei P50 Pocket on the other hand uses a smaller display and is in the shape of a circle. Now the great thing about Samsung's external display is that it can display more content from your notifications and that's really helpful. However, the display is very reflective and this makes it challenging to use the display even under normal conditions. The round display on the Huawei P50 Pocket on the other hand, although smaller, is much clearer to see under any lighting conditions. Selfies-wise, it's also more accurate to use the Huawei's round display 
as you can see your full face in the shot unlike the Samsung which cuts off your head and chin so you have to take a guess every time you use the external display to take a selfie. Hence this is the reason why I'd actually choose the round display over the rectangular one. Moving on, we're going to check out something really interesting and that is the cameras that we have on the back of these devices. Now, I'm definitely expecting to see flagship level camera quality because these are actually very expensive phones. But let's see what kind of photos these cameras are capable of taking. Now, the Samsung Z Flip 3 comes with a dual camera setup comprising of a 12 megapixel main sensor and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. The Huawei P50 Pocket on the other hand comes with a triple camera setup comprising of a 40 megapixel main sensor a 13 megapixel ultra wide lens and a 32 megapixel ultra spectrum sensor for better color calibration. Now, in terms of daytime shots, pictures look more sharper and color accurate on the Huawei P50 Pocket. For some reason, the Samsung Z Flip 3 tends to add a slightly cool tint to most of the pictures taken. Now, for pictures of people, after turning off all sorts of beautification, I noticed that the Huawei P50 Pocket captured images that has more detail as you can see from the hairs on my hand. Whereas on the Samsung Z Flip 3, I can still see a fair bit of smoothing on my face. At night, both devices did great here as you can see from these shots. But overall, if I had to pick one, it'll be the Huawei P50 Pocket simply because it's consistently pulling in much more detail and has a more color accurate approach. Now next up, we're going to talk a little bit about the processing power on both foldables. Both the Samsung Z Flip 3 and the Huawei P50 Pocket houses a Snapdragon 888 processor. However, the Samsung Z Flip 3 is more future-proof with support for 5G, whereas the Huawei P50 Pocket is stuck with 4G. However, in terms of sheer power, the Huawei P50 Pocket has options of all the way up to 12GB of RAM and 512GB of storage, whereas the Samsung Z Flip 3 maxes out at just 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. Now, in terms of daily use, regardless of whether you are launching apps like a social media or browser or even playing your favorite games, the good news here is that the Snapdragon 888 can take care of all your needs as it is still one of Qualcomm's most powerful processor. Everything you do on both devices are extremely fast and snappy. Now, operating system-wise, Samsung runs on Android while Huawei runs on EMUI. By now, most of you must already be very familiar with Android. But EMUI-wise, it's worth pointing out that although it's not perfect, Today, it does support a ton of new apps and side-loading popular apps are also now extremely easy to do. Alright guys, so now last but not least, let's talk a little bit about the batteries that we do have in these very slim devices. In this case, the Huawei P50 Pocket wins hands down. It comes with a larger 4000mAh battery compared to Samsung's 3300mAh battery. Due to that, you do notice that the Samsung Z Flip 3 battery drops a fair bit faster than the Huawei P50 Pocket. Charging speeds wise, again, the Huawei P50 Pocket has way more advanced charging tech with support for 40 watt fast charge. The Samsung Z Flip 3 on the other hand is crazy slow with just that 15 watt charge. I personally think the 15 watt charging speed is completely unacceptable, especially in 2022. All right, so at the end of the day, which device should you pick? Should you go with the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 or should you go with the Huawei P50 Pocket? Now, honestly speaking, I would say that the Galaxy Z Flip 3 is a great flip phone, but in terms of the P50 Pocket over here, it actually elevates everything to the next level, beating the Samsung in almost every single segment. Now, pricing-wise, the Galaxy Z Flip 3 here starts from RM3999, whereas the Huawei P50 Pocket starts from RM5999, which is slightly higher, of course, but what it actually gives gives you is a much better camera actually. Uh, you also get a more unique design. Of course, you also must not forget it does not have any gaps in between all over here. And at the end of the day, you also get that better battery and a better faster charging speed. So that's the kind of uh, experience that you can expect from the Huawei P50 Pocket right here. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this very quick comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 as well as the Huawei P50 Pocket. If you do have any further questions, I hope you feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, don't forget to stay subscribed to the channel. I hope to see all of you guys in the next one. Stay safe everybody. Bye!